Welcome to Food Safety for Food Service Employees, presented by Environmental Health Division of the First District Health Unit. There are eight parts to the presentation. You must watch all eight. This is part five. Take notes for each part. Contact any FDHU office to schedule an appointment to take the test. To take the test, you will need to bring handwritten notes in your own handwriting, a valid photo ID, and payment in the form of cash or credit card. TCS Food Preparation. TCS stands for Time Temperature Control for Safety of Food. TCS foods are foods that can support growth of disease-causing bacteria. They were formerly known as potentially hazardous foods. They include foods from animals, raw or heat treated, foods of plant origin that are heat treated or consist of raw seed sprouts, garlic and oil mixtures, cut melons, raw cut tomatoes, cut leafy greens. The danger zone are the temperatures between 41 degrees Fahrenheit and 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Bacteria grow and multiply rapidly in the danger zone. Keep TCS foods above or below the danger zone to prevent bacterial growth. Food preparation processes. They include thawing, produce washing, cooking, cooling, and reheating. Thawing. There are many ways to properly thaw your food. The best method is in a cooler at or below 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Another method is under potable running water at or below 70 degrees Fahrenheit. You may thaw food in a microwave oven only if the food is cooked immediately. Finally, Food may be thawed as part of the conventional cooking process. Produce washing. All produce must be washed before being cut or sliced and if it is served whole with an edible skin. Produce can be washed in a prep sink or a three compartment sink as long as that sink is washed and sanitized first. Produce may not be washed in a hand washing sink or a utility sink. Cooking is the most effective step for reducing bacterial contamination, but it will not kill toxins or spores. All parts of a food must reach the minimum cooking temperature for the specified period of time. Higher temperatures and longer times may be used. Verify your cooking temperature with a thermometer. Thermometers are used to verify the proper temperature has been met. Take the temperature in the center of the largest area of your food. Sanitize the stem between different foods. Use an appropriate type of thermometer. Bimetallic stem, digital stem, infrared, or thermocouple. Here are pictures of a bimetallic stem thermometer and a digital stem thermometer an infrared surface thermometer, and a thermocouple. Cooking plant foods. Plant foods must be cooked to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Some examples include corn, green beans, asparagus, potatoes, spinach, or mushrooms. Cooking eggs. Eggs that are broken and cooked for immediate service must be cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. All other eggs must be cooked to 155 degrees Fahrenheit for 17 seconds. Cooking fish. Fish includes fresh and saltwater fish, fish eggs, molluscan shellfish, crustacean shellfish, aquatic animals that are not birds or mammals. Whole pieces of fish must be cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. Ground fish or any food containing ground fish must be cooked to 155 degrees Fahrenheit for 17 seconds. 
Stuffed fish or stuffing containing fish must be cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. Cooking meat. Meat includes beef, pork, lamb, goat, buffalo, or elk. Whole muscle intact meat must be cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. You must reach the correct temp and time and a cooked color change must be achieved on all external surfaces. Ground, tenderized, or solution injected meat or foods containing them must be cooked to 155 degrees Fahrenheit for 17 seconds. Stuffed meat or stuffing containing meat must be cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. Cooking poultry. Whole, ground, or stuffed poultry must be cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. To review, all plant foods must be cooked to a temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Whole muscle intact meat, whole game meat, whole fish, and eggs served immediately must be cooked to a temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. Ground meat, ground game meat, ground fish, and eggs not for immediate service must be cooked to 155 degrees Fahrenheit for 17 seconds. Stuffed meat, stuffed game meat, stuffed fish, and all poultry, including whole, ground, or stuffed poultry, must be cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. Here are some cooking examples. Corn must be cooked to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Roast beef must be cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Raw ground sausage must be cooked to 155 degrees Fahrenheit. Pork chop must be cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Buffalo steak must be cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Beef hamburgers must be cooked to 155 degrees Fahrenheit. Turkey burger must be cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And roast turkey, again, 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Cooling. You must cool your foods as quickly as possible to minimize the time that they are spent in the danger zone. During the cooling process, TCS foods are in the danger zone. Monitor the temperature and time closely while cooling foods. There are many methods you can use to help your food cool faster. The first is an ice bath. Place your container of food in an ice and water mixture. Stir it often. Two, cut or break your food into smaller portions to help it cool faster. Three, use shallow containers that shed heat quickly. Four, place your container of food in front of or near a cooling unit. Five, don't stack containers. Six, don't cover the food while it is actively cooling. Use shallow containers to help your food cool more quickly. Use containers that are meant to shed heat. Do not stack containers. Cool cooked TCS foods in six hours or less using the following two steps. First, Cool your food from 135 degrees Fahrenheit to below 70 degrees Fahrenheit within the first two hours. If your food does not cool to below 70 degrees Fahrenheit within the first two hours, the food must be discarded. Next, cool your food from 70 degrees Fahrenheit to below 41 degrees Fahrenheit in the remainder of the six hours. If your food does not cool to below 41 degrees Fahrenheit, it must be discarded. Food cannot be reheated or tried to be cooled again. 
Remember, cool your food from 135 degrees Fahrenheit to 70 degrees Fahrenheit in two hours or less. Then use the remainder of the six hour cooling period to cool your food to 41 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Reheating. Reheat TCS foods to 165 degrees for 15 seconds. You must reheat them from below 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 165 degrees Fahrenheit in two hours or less. If you are using a microwave to reheat, reheat to 165 degrees Fahrenheit, then let the food stand for two minutes. This is the end of part five. For each presentation, a different part of the code will be given. Write down this test code and bring the complete code with you to take your test. The next digit in the code is 7.